In this final section, we will have a look at Parallel HDF5 and MPI. For more than a decade, parallelization has become a crucial part of scientific programming. Modern computers are multi-core, meaning that they have more than one processing unit. HDF5 allows multiple processes, running on many cores, to read and write data. This is achieved by the Message Passing Interface, or MPI. Note that Python programs can use libraries written in C or Fortran to do the heavy lifting via several mechanisms, for example, using C types, Cyton, and NumPy. When using parallel HDF5 for Python, we have to use the MPI library via MPI for Py. As a reminder, here is a quick MPI Hello World program. An execution of an MPI-based parallel program is done with MPI exec in a shell, here with four processes. For more details on MPI and MPI for Py, see the Introduction to MPI webinar on the ADAX LMS. Assuming that you have installed HDF5 with the options Enable Parallel and Enable Shared, you can access an HDF5 file in parallel. The parallel features of HDF5 are mostly transparent. As we now know, the MPIO file driver is used to open a file shared across multiple processes. Here is an example program of H5Py and MPI4Py. First, from the MPI com world, we collect the rank, which is the process ID, an integer between 0 and 3 for a 4 process run. We then create an HDF5 file, opening with the driver MPIO and specifying the communication world. Then, we create a dataset, which will be an array of four integers, and then store the rank at its position in that dataset, and finally close the file. As we did previously, we run the MPI program with MPI exec specifying four processes, and now, if we look at the output file using h5 dump, we now get the following. For more information about parallel HDF5 with Python, you can look at the following resources. And this ends our tutorial.